Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia, it's official for April the 22nd. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. So, finally, Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis, PBC, Golden Boy, and The Zone have finally reached an agreement. The contract is signed, the fight is on. But they did move the date, which was kind of. Uh, it was kind of strange to me when I looked at the article I read this morning and they were saying that the date had changed from April the 15th to April the 22nd. Uh, I really don't understand why they changed it. I don't, I don't think there was a reason given in the article that I read. There's plenty of articles out there to read, but the one that I read, I don't think they actually gave a reason why they changed the date. Uh, but... I'm not sure if it even matters at this point. You know, Javante Davis, uh, I found out some more news that Davis has gotten a little more trouble. You know, he had a situation in a parking lot where he apparently uh, sucker punched. <laughs> uh, that's what the article said. They said he sucker punched a parking attendant and now he's being sued with that. We know that he has the car accident situation with the hit and run, facing possible jail time for that one. I'm not sure if they changed the date because they know that he is going to get jail time or if they changed the date because they know he isn't going to get jail time. Maybe he's just going to receive a bunch of fines. I've said before that I think Javante Davis will be lucky if he just get fines and you know, a bunch of community service that he has to fulfill, which would be cool, you know, that way he can he can get through the rest of his 2023 with with more fights, you know, on his schedule. Maybe they put him in a halfway house and let him come out for his fights and training. I don't, you know, we don't know. It's, it's a bunch of options that, you know, that his, his lawyer can present, and it's a bunch of options that the uh, uh, prosecutor and the judge can present, and Hopefully they can make some type of arrangement to that will keep Davis from having to do any time, and you know that way he can get to that Devin Haney fight, and that that fight doesn't just kind of like fizzle out and go away because too much time has elapsed, or or Devin Haney decided to leave the 130 135 division. Now, man, Javante Davis just can't seem to keep himself out of trouble, man. He just trouble seems to follow you wherever you go when. You, when you're a famous, when you got a lot of money, you know, unfortunately, I don't know what color the person was or if race played a role in the situation with the parking attendant or if it was ego tripping or whatever, you know, but once you hit a certain status, man, you, you gotta you kinda gotta change your mindset when you got when you got money, you know. You can't always be uh, on the offensive you, you you can't be on the offensive all the time you can't be on the defensive all the time you can't you can't be aggressive with everybody a lot of black people are from the hood a lot of black people have lived that life man and a lot of black people we know how to take it there but you got money now and and the first thing that people are thinking when they see you is how can i get some of his money so you know people will goat you into doing stuff that you might not have done or that you might have thought a little harder on. If you wasn't a celebrity, you know, being a celebrity, sometimes you can have an ego trip or you can have a chip on your sh on your shoulder, you know, about certain things. So hopefully Javante Davis gets through all that bad stuff that's going on in his life at the moment and can turn it into a positive before it, 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 it completely affects his life or, you know, it, it makes his career have a downturn, you know, similar to like a Mike Tyson or somebody like that. You know, we all know what jail time did to his career. And there are plenty of other fighters out there. You know, some of them turned it into a positive. Some of them let it, you know, really affect their life and their career. Now, you know, I think the beneficiary of all this could be Ryan Garcia. You know, Javante Davis having all this bad stuff going on in his life could be a distraction and... Ryan Garcia could end up winning that fight because Javante Davis isn't fully focused on beating Ryan Garcia. He's he's focused on, you know, this lawsuit or that lawsuit or this jail time, that jail time. You know, Floyd Mayweather, you know, this person coming at him, that person. 
There's a lot going on in that man's life, and there are a lot of distractions. Even the situation with his, the the female he's dealing with, you know, it's crazy. You know, I think they patched it up or, or whatever, but it's it's crazy to have that much drama in your life, man. And I don't understand why, but you know, I'm not saying that Javante Davis, you know, lives within drama, but a lot of black people, man, like their whole life is is nothing but a drama show and. I'm the type of person, man, I, I, I try to stay out of the way, man, because I, I know how hood life is. I know how black people are. I know how the ego tripping and the attitudes are and how people can turn on you in the drop of a hat. And, you know, I living within drama 24-7 is going to end up becoming violence at some point, you know, because, you know, drama ends up turning into beefing most of the time, so... That's why, I, I, you know, I stay away from people, man. I, you know, try to give people their distance, especially if I know their their whole goal is or their whole life is, is a drama show. You know, your, your whole life is, is, is gossip or you just try to take every little piece of life and turn it into to, to some type of drama. You know, everybody's against you. I, I don't like living that type of life, man. I'm, I'm more of a upbeat I want to be happy, positive. I'm trying to get stuff done. You know, I'm trying to get to the next level. I'm trying to level up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to the point to where I don't have to. I ain't got to be angry all the time. And, you know, being around a lot of black people with those type of attitudes and, and who like to live that drama show, they are always angry, man. And best believe me, 100%, just because I try to be positive and, and, and see the, 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 the good and stuff and try to have a better outlook on life that don't mean i won't get down if it's time to get down i get with you if i gotta get with you i come play with me but you know i don't want to i don't want to live like that who don't live that's a lot of stress you know what i'm saying people black people have problems with their hearts and blood pressure and heart attacks already why do i want to be you know what i'm saying that stressed out over somebody i might see once a week or or somebody I barely even know, or somebody who's who's mad at me because I got something that they ain't got, you know. I don't want to live that drama-filled life. And I, I hate that for Javante Davis, man. You know, I hate that he has to go through that, whether it's him starting the drama or whether it's other people interjecting drama into his life. You know, that, that stuff is going to eventually become a problem. And it's the reason I don't push drama on my channel. Now, I will go into the topic if, if it's completely relevant and it, it, it serves a purpose but i'm not gonna be a drama show man that ain't that ain't how i'm rocking at all but shouts out to javante davis ryan garcia for signing them contracts getting it done man this is what boxing needs we need more superstar fighters to fight each other and and show the younger fighters it is it can be done it's not always about money Sometimes you got to show and prove, man. Let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. Hit that like button for me. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. More than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. Throw them L's up. If you want to collab, hit my Gmail. Flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are out of here. man. Everything I do dope, everything I do clean You say I ain't T-K-O-B, what the fuck you mean? I come too clean, new debit card in my blue jeans You been a good girl, you can find out what crews mean Find out what new shoes mean, I rock the cops with no shoe strings V color on my move ring, it's 24 carats, I wanna see Paris before the end of the fiscal year You wanna get fiscal dirt? Come put your lips right here I'm fly here, then a lurk Check, I'm a cool cat, matter of fact, I'm perfect Police are perplexed I'm cool, I never get nervous I think I'm the shit now My chick got locked up For the next six months we been oh, down G, oh, G, oh, G. They ain't fucking with me. They ain't fucking with me. They ain't fucking with me. They ain't fucking with me.
hold up, make sure you get the picture right. Picture me with a red bone in a hotel, watch a nick at night. With an Asian chick, watch a nick at night. New girl with a new toy, she ain't get it from Fisher Price.